Julie aren't just aren't just living off grid. They they did a full renovation off grid. It's been very fun to be part of it. She looks amazing, really happy. Does, Does it feel or look like an oven? We just happened to cross CC, our, our 1999 country coach intrigue, really serendipitously. We unexpectedly fell in love with this old coach. Price was right and then it was made it easy for us to renovate and really make it our own without breaking the budget. And allowed us to have the room in the budget to make some bigger upgrades too. And we wanted to have a big solar and battery installation to be able to go off grid more. We wanted to keep a lot of things original in CC that was still really good quality and in really good shape, but there were some things that we really wanted to upgrade. And so we went big with it. We we had new flooring, new appliances, new paint, new uh, lighting. We changed the furniture style. We set in offices because with us both working full time, we needed dedicated workspaces for both of us. So this is the really fun part: is getting all the accessories and the design accents in the van to um, make it look really beautiful. What surprised me most during the Renault is uh, the degree of work involved. It's, it's been full on. I've been here 22 days and I've worked those 22 days. <laughs> oh. oh, that looks so nice, guys, with this. The shape, the shape. You can look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Oh my god, I need a lipstick top up. <laughs> it's it's not just about making it beautiful, it's about um, making it a place that is totally unique and special. Like lots of designers can make a space beautiful, but I make a space really unique to the people who live there. My favourite thing in the RV is probably going to be the bedroom. Even down to the small detail of the handles in the bedroom on the cupboard. There's so many things of beauty and surprise in CC. Oh my God, I cannot believe that we're done. And this is like every reno. It's right up until the last second and literally before you guys came in to see the big reveal, I was still running around like a lunatic. So um, it feels amazing.
Yeah, it's been very fun to do, and it's made me want to do more to mine. Uh, in fact, I want to put a new floor in now because I've seen Julie's beautiful floor, and I love her tape, everything about their remodel. My favourite thing that I could say as a designer of what I'm really proud of is doing the new L-shaped uh, dinette seat and using bed heads as the base. There is no upholsterer here, you know, and it was like I need seat back, so what can I get? And then to have them work out so perfectly and they just look amazing. It was homey before, but now it's, it really feel like it represents us and it's just it feels truly like an apartment on wheels. It and does. A very luxurious and wonderful apartment. So what I wanted to do as a designer was really to take into account who Mark and Julie are in the world and that's that's really important to me and they are really young, groovy, happy, you know, couple. So I really wanted Cece to be that palette. When you walk in, you actually get an idea of who Jules and Mark are, but I also was really focused on that it had to be sophisticated and effortless. Just getting all the linking from the blues, the greys, the blacks, the silver, the marble, so the organic, and then, you know, the sensuousness of fabrics and, and feathers. And so, um, you know, there's a lot at play with designing a space. It isn't just about putting a cushion and painting a wall. There's a lot of play with linking all the colors, all the textures, the light, the environment. So um, that's where I can see my work. It feels like I've finished a painting and, and that is the most gratifying feeling I can have. And then the, the, the one after that is course just knowing that the homeowners are so happy that's that's first and foremost but for me as a designer that is truly the most gratifying to see that work of art totally finished being a part of it I think has just been really fun I mean it's just just because we did know them before they had this RV and then they've never come to visit us so it's just made it gave them reason to come visit us here and um, yeah the whole thing has just been a good experience we've just really thoroughly enjoyed the whole thing eating dinner every night together um, going to the lake showing off our beautiful area has been fun sure wanted to help and I wanted to see their process and help the thought process that goes into it and how to lay it out and really excited to have them come up and do that and and be able to be a part of it and uh and i was they honored us by letting us be a part of it i know that sounds stupid but i was uh anxious to anxious to help them there's so much more extensive than ours and uh now i'm all jealous that how theirs turned out
I was literally hugging Mark and Julie's toilet, installing the lines to the the water lines to the back of it. And I, I, I must say that is friendship right there. And I, Mark and Julie need to understand that that is true friendship. Hugging your toilet. Luckily, it was a brand new floor and a brand brand new toilet, so it made it a little easier. But still, it's a toilet for crying out loud. <laughs> It just works so well for us now. It's, it, it is exactly what we would want in an RV, yeah. you know. And it's but so luxurious. it doesn't luxurious. feel like an RV. It Does doesn't it... feel or look like an RV now. It looks like an apartment on wheels, a luxurious wow. apartment on wheels. And now it makes all those late nights, those sweaty days, those, you know, cut fingers, stub toes really worthwhile because she looks amazing. She really does look incredible. I'm really happy with how it looks. Mark have been so much underfoot um, in the whole process and for me as a designer that's not the norm uh, normally like I will do reveals to the client so they get to see the end product so I really wanted them to have a special reveal just for themselves because they've been so hard at it and then just then they opened up to that bedroom and I could see they just were delighted they loved it. All right, ready for your bedroom reveal Mark and Jules? Good to see you. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Like it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Before oh Jane came in, you know, just the construction piece for to here is gigantic. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad you guys are happy. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you rubbed my mascara. <laughs> She's a different bedroom to that, you know, mirrored mayhem that was in there before. And I love bedrooms, they're my specialty. It's like I've said before, you know, it's all about the sanctity and, you know, the sanctuary and the fun you can have in there. Well, we set out with the goal of transforming CC to be, you know, an even better version of the highway princess she was 20 years ago and to really make the most of, of her and to really, really give her some RV love. You know, that's what we're known for and just to, to bring her back to life but in a way that was bigger and better than ever before that really complements us and our life and where we're going. And yeah. to me, it really exceeded my expectations. It absolutely exceeded my expectations too. And especially because so much of it came together in these last couple of days. Up until that, it's just been, I've been so head down working and hard. This was a huge, huge job. But these last day or so is when all the design elements came together and all the small things started linking together. And it just, it looks amazing. It far exceeded my expectations. We absolutely love it. I yeah. just, I'm so feel at home in this. It's yeah. already, it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's she's she's beautiful, and we just we couldn't have done it without Jane. There is absolutely no way. We just, you know, yeah. This has been a really special journey, and we're just going to continue on now and keep on having fun. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of speechless. So what I do with transforming homes 
transforms people's lives. It really is. It is, it is so much more than just having a pretty home. I would just really experiment, you know, oh, call me. I think that's a really good plan. Um, but if you don't call me, I would say do it. You know, you know, experiment with paint, you know, go buy a series of cushions, throw them on, take them away, see, just have a play and, and step outside, be a little bit brave. You know, because if, it, if the paint doesn't work, you can always paint over it. But I'd highly recommend it. Like personalize your RV. You know, it's your home, it's where you live. So yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> this is one sexy, beautiful glamping machine. I'm just, I love it, absolutely love it. Oh, so thank you for you're flying so 8,000, more than 8,000 miles. A long, yeah, long way. <laughs> to get here and just spend all of this week, three weeks, with two two to three weeks, I think. Yeah, 23 yeah. days. There you go, she was 20, counting. I was <laughs> counting, because they were 23 days of working straight through. It has been the ultimate RV makeover and I love how it's turned out. It's it's everything and more than I imagined and it's been really hard work but so so worth it like everything in life yeah you know you, you've got to put in the time and the energy and the yeah. rewards come so I'm, I'm delighted I think it looks amazing she looks fresh and very sexy very welcoming and uh, I think you guys are gonna have a really nice journey in her oh, I think so. and that's it we've finished the <laughs> ultimate RV makeover of Cece. she looks amazing we are just so excited to now hit the road and enjoy everything about our new motorhome and yeah, just get out there and continue sharing the adventures with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and whew, catch yeah. your next RV makeover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. so hard. This is one of the messages that we really try to convey in, you know, in our book and in, in RV Success School is that anyone can RV. It, you can afford it no matter what your budget is. That's one of the examples that we really hope that what we're doing inspires other people to help think about different ways that they can hit the road too.